In this session, we're going to talk in more detail about creating text widgets or custom widgets in WordPress. In the last session, populating your WordPress sidebars, we talked about creating or populating the sidebars with different standard widgets, but we only talked a little bit about creating your own text widgets or custom widgets in WordPress. So what the idea is that we will create custom widgets using either code that we pull from other sites or our own HTML code to kind of sort of customize the sidebars to our own needs. So the first step is to scroll down after you go to Appearances Widgets and pull a text widget up here onto one of your sidebar or widget areas. Then we need to pull it open and you notice that this is actually a blank widget. We'll put in our own title and then we'll place anything we want in here and it will show up accordingly. Now I'm going to start by putting in a basic Facebook badge and we covered this in the last session but I want to, I want to people who don't want to um, kind of sit through that entire session can just come here to see how to create their own badges. Now if you go to facebook.com slash badges you have a choice of different badges. Now the difference between a badge and a widget is typically a badge is only a like a visual link somewhere and so it's going to show me a picture or an image and then all I need to do is roll over the image and click on the image and that's going to take me to wherever the image is linked to. So there isn't any other functionality going on in a badge than there is in a widget. Widgets typically have other things like live streams or movement or something like that. Now when I create a badge for WordPress, I'm going to go into, it says where do I want to add the badge? I'm going to click on other. And I would do this also not only for WordPress but for any website that I wanted to create a Facebook badge for. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to my sidebar, my text widget, paste the code in there, click on save, and then when we view the site, we'll see the Facebook badge in that right sidebar there. So that when we click on this, it's going to take us to my Facebook profile. Now I also want to create a truly custom badge by using straight HTML. So again, we're going to grab a text widget. Now you can, you can drag up as many text widgets onto your sidebar as you wish. So you can create all the custom text widgets that you want to. So in the secondary widget area, <clears throat> which is just under the first, or the primary widget area, I'm going to paste a link to my book on Amazon, but I want it to be a badge. I want it to be my own badge, so I want to use an image that is an image of my book. Now I already, I already know where this image is stored, so what I need to be able to create this badge is I need the direct URL to where the image is that I want to use, and then I need to know a little bit of HTML. Now I have that stored in a document down here and this is very basic HTML and you can go to the WebMonkey or, or you know w3.org to learn how to, how to create a basic link and essentially all this is is when I have something tagged with an A that means it's a direct link here's the reference or where it's going to actually take me when I link onto it or when I click onto the image and then this is where the this is the image source and this is a direct URL right here to where that image is stored which is on my social media power website and you always want to have alternate text that's very important for search optimization and then I have a little line underneath that says buy now on Amazon so if I copy this I paste it in my text area I also want to click on automatically add paragraphs. When I do that, that means that where I hit return here and I have a second line, then that line is actually going to be underneath the image as opposed to right beside it. 
and I click Save. And I again view the site. I'm now going to have another custom widget underneath my Facebook widget that will link directly to my book. Now the other thing you can do if you happen to have a copy of a like a website creator like Dreamweaver is you can design your your own little HTML widgets and as long as they are valid HTML all you need to do is copy the code over from Dreamweaver so you can do it in a more a more of a wisey wig platform to create whatever it is you want and then just copy the code over here and paste it here okay so those are two fairly basic badges and right now I want to show you how to create something a little more sophisticated let's go ahead and create a Twitter widget I'm going to go to twitter.com slash goodies I'm going to click on widgets now what I want to create is it says widgets for I can create one for Facebook or I can create one for my website which is what I want to do they have a number of choices here I can create a search widget or a profile widget a widget of my some of my favorite streams etc in our case I want to create a profile widget that will show the current tweets um, on my site on my Twitter account now I already have the username in there because I'm already logged into Twitter but I have some other changes that I can make here for instance on my preferences and these the reason I wanted to show you this particular widget is because it does have a lot of settings so typically what you're going to do is when you're on a website and you want to somehow to integrate that site one of your social sites or social accounts with your WordPress website or any website really you're gonna search around on the site to find out where their widgets or badges are and then you're going to pop it open and kind of change whatever settings they have available for you and then you're going to generate the code and copy the code over to your widget and so we have several options here for this particular widget we can we can choose to include a scroll bar instead of just you know like four or five static tweets we can include more tweets if we want so we can make it a little bit longer and so each widget depending on on the site or the source is going to have different settings accordingly Now we can also show avatars this means that we'll show images show timestamps and hashtags which means that people can can click on hashtags if there happen to be any in the stream so you have a number of different ways to customize this to your own needs now you can also click on appearance and now this is where you can really kind of make it your own and that you can match these colors with your website so it will blend in very nicely with either your website or your WordPress site now I'm still gonna keep this very basic the only thing I am going to change is my link color Now, notice when I click on that I can use either this this color select area here or I can put in a hexadecimal number that stands for or represents uh, colors so I do want that to be blue and so I changed it accordingly and I can do the same thing for any of these areas here where I can change the color now I can also change the dimensions now I happen to know that this sidebar on the theme that I'm using is a little bit skinny so I'll probably change that to 200 and I could also change the height if I wanted to so once I'm finished I can click on test settings and it'll show the skinnier a Twitter feed that I created and then when I'm finished I can click on finish and grab code so what it's showing me now is here's the code that I need to copy and go back over to my website to my text widget which I actually need to drag up here onto this footer area which is where I want to place this this widget I just give it a whatever title I want 
and then I paste the code and I click Save. Then if we visit the site again and we look toward the bottom which is the sidebar that I placed the widget on, I can see it in action. Okay, now let's take a look at one more. I want to show you a Flickr badge. And I want to show you this because this is actually Flash. Well, we've seen, we've seen HTML in action. We've seen Java in action. And now I want to show you a, a little Flash badge that, that Flickr makes available. So you want to go to uh, flickr.com slash badge dot gne is how you get to their badges. And I can choose either an HTML badge or a Flash badge. And then again, this is going to be different because it's, it's a completely different platform, but the idea is the same. I'm going to customize this the way I want it, and then I'm going to copy the code over to my site. So I can choose my photos. I can choose photos that are tagged with a particular, uh, a specific tag, or I can collect only images from a specific set. And this is one of the reasons why I always create or organize my images and sets, because this, this is a nice way to create badges even for different pages on your website. So once I've selected which, which photos I want to show in my badge, I can choose my background colors, my border colors, my links, and my text colors. And again, you can customize this however you want to match your own website. And again, I'm going to preview the badge. copy the code pull a text widget up into the second footer area paste the code save it and then go and view the widget on the site so this is a, a nice little badge that gives your site a little bit of movement. Now this, this set only has three images in it. It would certainly look, look more attractive if it had a lot, more, a lot more images. Now hopefully this will give you an idea of how to create your own custom widgets and badges in WordPress to kind of make your site a little bit more uniquely yours. I'll be talking about uh, more advanced widgets in later sessions, including more advanced Facebook widgets and LinkedIn widgets and so forth.